Bill Nye the Science Guy is an American half-hour live-action science program that originally was syndicated by Walt Disney Television to local stations from September 10, 1993 to June 20, 1998 and also aired on PBS from 1994 to 1999. It was hosted by Bill Nye. The show aired for 100 half-hour episodes spanning five seasons. Known for its quirky humor and rapid-fire MTV-style pacing, the show won critical acclaim and was nominated for 23 Emmy Awards, winning 19. Studies also found that people that viewed Bill Nye regularly were better able to generate explanations and extensions of scientific ideas than non-viewers. <laughs> Origins and creation While performing in a sketch comedy television show in Seattle called Almost Live, during the 1980s, Nye cultivated a science-explaining TV persona. One famous incident on the show led to his stage name. He corrected another host, John Keister, on his pronunciation of the word, gigawatt, and the nickname was born when Keister responded, Who do you think you are? Bill Nye the science guy. In 1993, he developed a Bill Nye the Science Guy pilot for PBS member station KCTS-TV in Seattle. Nye collaborated with James McKenna, Aaron Gottlieb and Elizabeth Brock to plan and create the show for KCTS. The group pitched the show as Mr. Wizard Meets Pee-wee's Playhouse. He successfully obtained underwriting from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Energy. Nye's program became part of a package of syndicated series that local stations could schedule to fulfill Children's Television Act requirements. Because of this, Bill Nye the Science Guy became the first program to run concurrently on both public and commercial stations. Format Nye plays a hyperkinetic tall and slender scientist wearing a blue lab coat and a bow tie. He combines the serious science of everyday things with fast-paced action and humor. Each half-hour show begins with a cold open, where Nye introduces the episode's topic, which leads into an opening credit sequence, as Nye is seen floating through a montage of science images. In later seasons, the theme song was cut short by a static screen. After the opening credits, announcer Pat Cashman would say, "...brought to you by..." in which a product name was related to the episode's topic, followed by Nye walking onto the set, called, "...Nye Laboratories," which is filled with scientific visuals including many, "...of science," contraptions announced dramatically, relevant to the topic of the episode. Parodies of movies and television shows configure the facts of the episode's topic. Guest appearances included Christopher Walken, Samuel L. Jackson, Harrison Schmidt, Jenna Von Oy, Robin Leach, John Ratzenberger, Ross Schaefer, Graham Kerr, Gene Siskel, Roger Ebert, Bob Ross, Willard Scott, Richard Karn, Soundgarden, Kenny G., Pat Sajak, Vanna White, Cirque du Soleil, Suzanne Summers, The Flying Karamazov Brothers, Pat Cashman, John Keister, Candace Cameron, Alfonso Ribeiro, Sinbad, Edgar Martinez, Nate McMillan, Mudhoney, Drew Barrymore, and Taryn Noah Smith. Each episode also featured Nye in diverse places, focusing on the episode's topic. There are several individual segments that are featured in each episode, such as, Way Cool Scientist, which features an expert on the episode's topic, Consider the Following, where Nye discusses a certain aspect of the episode's topic, Nifty Home Experiment where the audience is shown how to do a simple home experiment relating to the episode's topic, Try This, where the audience is shown how to try a simple demonstration relating to the episode's topic, Hey, Look at This, where the expert shows us how to give us a closer look by relating to the episode's topic, Check It Out, where the audience is shown how to affect their environmental issues by relating to the episode's topic, Clever Science Trick. 
where the audience is shown how to do a simple science trick relating to the episode's topic, and Did you know that? where an interesting factoid related to the episode's topic was presented. Luna Van Dyke, Private Detective, was one of the recurring segments on the show. The segments feature Private Detective Luna Van Dyke focusing on a story related to the episode's topic. Most half-hour episodes contain a mock song parody and music video in the Soundtrack of Science by Not That Bad Records. Not that bad is a catchphrase that Nye will often say in those episodes, substituting a scientific roundup of the episode for the lyrics to a popular song. This is usually the last segment of each episode. Each half hour show ends with Nye saying, Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I've got some. Before explaining his departure in a clever description of an activity on topic, followed by him saying, See ya! Afterwards. After that, a female announcer says, Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. The credits sometimes rolled next to a series of outtakes from the episode. Other times, outtakes are shown at the time they actually happened. In a study that evaluated the pacing of 87 popular children's programs, Bill Nye the Science Guy was found to be the fastest paced show on television, with a pacing score of 56.90. <laughs> Production The show was created in 1992 by Bill Nye, James McKenna and Aaron Gottlieb, produced by McKenna – Gottlieb Producers, Inc., in partnership with KCTS in Seattle. The following year, the production companies entered a distribution agreement with Buena Vista Television, a subsidiary of Disney. As part of the agreement, the profits of the show were split between Disney and the production team, with Disney owning full distribution rights across broadcasting, home video, and digital streaming. McKenna and Gottlieb all met while McKenna was a producer on Almost Live, a Seattle-based comedy show. The announcer for the program was Pat Cashman, whom Nye knew from his time on Almost Live. Before his show launched, Nye had previously worked alongside Christopher Lloyd in Back to the Future, the animated series, where he played Doc Brown's assistant and demonstrated several experiments. The show has been likened to the next generation version of Watch Mr. Wizard. The show ran about the same time as and covered similar topics to Beekman's World, in fact sharing one crew member, editor, writer, director Michael Gross. The show was primarily funded by the National Science Foundation, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the annual financial support from the viewers, stations of the PBS network. Other funding sponsors included Orida, the Boeing Company, and Intel. Despite Disney's association and ownership with the show, it has never aired on ABC or any network owned by the Disney ABC Television Group. Topic soundtrack The Bill Nye the Science Guy theme song was written by former math teacher Mike Green. The thing that they told me was they did not want it to sound like a kid's theme song, Green explained. They didn't want it to be safe, basically. They didn't want to make it sound like stuff that's already been done. They wanted it to be something that was adventurous and a little bit more daring than what a theme song, at that time, would be. It was much more common to have a song that would be like, Bill Nye's gonna teach you some science, something that's a little bit cheesier. They wanted to go as far away from cheesy or safe as they could get. Green said that he was inspired by Danny Elfman and Oingo Boingo when composing the theme and used his voice for singing the Bill Nye the Science Guy refrain. I used my voice for the first demo to send to the producers, Jim and Aaron, he said. After they approved it, I hired singers because I wanted to make it better. I hired a guy to sing it who sounded pretty cool. He had like a rock and roll kind of voice, so it sounded pretty slick. Then as another option, I hired a girl to sing it to give it a bit more R&B kind of sound. Then I sent those versions to Jim and Aaron, and they said, why have you got them on it? We want your voice. 
It's funnier, I thought, my voice is funnier? Good thing I'm not touchy about my singing, so we kept my voice on there, set to a house beat, Green enlisted rappers to repeat the word, Bill, as a percussive shout. I can't name them, because it was against their contract to do outside things without permission from their record company, Green noted. It was kinda funny, because they were in my studio one day to record a song. I was working on the Nye theme as they walked in and I told them, hey, do me a favor and go in the booth and chant, Bill, 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 over and over again, they had no idea what it was for, but they're cool, so they did. It sounded great, so that's the version we kept. The show didn't air until a year later, so it wasn't until then that they understood what this was really for. Topic. Impact In conjunction with the production of Bill Nye the Science Guy, KCTS-TV conducted several research studies that evaluated how effective the program was as an educational tool. In one study, it was found that viewers of the program made more observations and sophisticated classifications than non-viewers. In surveys of elementary students who watched the program, most children concluded that Nye made kids like science more. When surveyed whether Nye was a scientist or actor and comedian, most students asserted he was a scientist, though many said both. Students also described Nye almost equally as both funny and smart, and believed he was a source of good information. Episodes 100 half-hour episodes were produced. Topic. Season 1 Season 1 of Bill Nye the Science Guy consisted of 20 episodes. Topic. Season 2 Season 2 of Bill Nye the Science Guy consisted of 20 episodes. Topic. Season 3 Season 3 of Bill Nye the Science Guy consisted of 20 episodes. Topic. Season 4 1995 Season 4 of Bill Nye the Science Guy consisted of 20 episodes. Topic. Season 5 Season 5 of Bill Nye the Science Guy consisted of 20 episodes. Topic. Awards During its run, Bill Nye the Science Guy was nominated for 23 Emmy Awards, winning 19, Daytime Emmy Awards. 1996 Outstanding Writing in a Children's Series – Aaron Gottlieb, Bill Nye, James McKenna, Scott Schaefer, Adam Gross and Seth Gross 1996 Outstanding Sound Editing – Michael McAuliffe, Sony Felberg, Vince Werner, Dave Howe, Ella Brackett, Thomas McGurk and Jim Wilson 1997 Outstanding Writing in a Children's Series – Kit Boss, Aaron Gottlieb, Michael Gross, James McKenna, Bill Nye, Ian G. Saunders, Scott Schaefer and Daryl Suto 1997 Outstanding Directing in a Children's Series – Daryl Suto, Michael Gross, Aaron Gottlieb and James McKenna 1997 Outstanding Single Camera Editing – Daryl Suto, Michael Gross, Felicity Oram and John Rule 1997 Outstanding Sound Editing – Thomas McGurk, Michael McAuliffe, Sony Felberg, Vince Werner, and Dave Howe 
1998 Outstanding Writing in a Children's Series – Aaron Gottlieb, James McKenna, Bill Nye, Michael Gross, Daryl Suto, Scott Schaefer, Kit Boss, Lynn Brunell, Michael Pileschi, Ian G. Saunders and Simon Griffith tied with Sesame Street. 1998 Outstanding Performer in a Children's Series – Bill Nye, 1998 Outstanding Single Camera Editing – Daryl Suto, Michael Gross, Felicity Oram and John Rule 1998 Outstanding Sound Editing – Dave Howe, Thomas McGurk and Michael McAuliffe 1998 Outstanding Sound Mixing – Dave Howe, Thomas McGurk, Michael McAuliffe, Bob O'Hearn, Resty Bagkel and Marion Smith 1999 Outstanding Children's Series – Aaron Gottlieb, James McKenna, Elizabeth Brock, Jamie Hammond, Hamilton McCulloch and Bill Nye 1999 Outstanding Directing in a Children's Series – Michael Gross and Daryl Suto 1999 Outstanding Single Camera Editing – Felicity Oram, John Rule, Michael Gross and Daryl Suto 1999 Outstanding Sound Editing – Dave Howe, Thomas McGurk and Michael McAuliffe 2000 Outstanding Writing in a Children's Series – Bill Nye, Michael Gross, Daryl Suto, Ian G. Saunders, Michael Pileschi, Lynn Brunell and Mike Green 2000 Outstanding Children's Series – James McKenna, Aaron Gottlieb, Elizabeth Brock, Jamie Hammond and Bill Nye 2000 Outstanding Sound Editing – Dave Howe, Michael McAuliffe and Thomas McGurk 2000 Outstanding Sound Mixing – Dave Howe, Michael McAuliffe, Thomas McGurk, Myron Partman and Resty Bagkel tied with Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, the TV show and Bear in the Big Blue House <laughs> Home media Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment released the series in its entirety on DVD, as part of the series' 20th anniversary. In the United Kingdom, it was distributed on VHS by Viewtech, Bristol. As of May 17, 2015, a 31-episode collection is available for streaming on various platforms through Netflix. As of May 2017, the 1996 episode, Probability is edited from its original airing, with a segment removed featuring a cast member saying there are only two genders. Netflix denied allegations they edited it their new series Bill Nye Saves the World features Nye stating gender is on a spectrum saying, "...it was delivered to us that way by Buena Vista TV." The same set of 31 episodes is also available for purchase on the iTunes Store, though they have been split into two separate volumes, one containing 14 episodes and the other containing 17 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Video game A computer game based on the series, titled Bill Nye the Science Guy, Stop the Rock, was released in 1996 for Windows and Macintosh by Pacific Interactive. In the game, a large meteoroid called Impending Doom threatens to make a catastrophic collision with the Earth. A team of scientists develop a laser satellite controlling computer system called Max Meteoroid and Asteroid Exploder to destroy the meteoroid. However, Max develops a personality of its own and refuses to save the planet unless Earth scientists can solve seven science riddles. Nye Labs decides to take on MAAX's challenge, and the player, depicted as the newest member of the Nye Labs team, is asked to solve these riddles using Nye Labs equipment before impending Dume hits represented through an in-game timer. The game featured a fully explorable Nye Labs, as well as video cut scenes featuring Nye and other Nye Labs scientists. However, the characters and cast members from the TV series, Sans Nye and a few others, do not appear in this game, instead being replaced by game-exclusive Nye Labs team members and new actors. <laughs> <laughs> Syndication Reruns of Bill Nye the Science Guy aired on Noggin now Nick Jr. from 2000 to 2002. 
Since 2016, reruns of the program have been aired on METV on Sunday mornings. See also Bill Nye Saves the World Stuff Happens The Eyes of Nye Carl Sagan Universe of Energy, an attraction at Walt Disney World's Epcot starring Bill Nye Bill Nye Ken Ham Debate <laughs>